What's up guys? I'm J-Dub and today we are out here. Guys, I don't see a lot of videos on the John Deere X570 and when I do, they're pretty much hate videos. There's a lot of guys that hate on this tractor. Guys, one of the big things you see people complain about is the steering and the steering is, it, it's hit and miss. It doesn't have the uh, power steering. And another one people saw, talk about are these bearings. Yeah, I really wish it had the upgraded bearings. But guys, this thing has been awesome. And as you can see, I actually use mine as a garden tractor more than I than it, more than I use it as a lawnmower. This is a tiller that I made, and this is a uh, this and this and this part coming back at an angle are all John Deere's original sleeve hitch idea. Everything else you see is what I've built to give this thing an electric hydraulic lift. This works awesome. Really hard to beat. As you can see, I like building my own tools. This is a 42 inch tiller that I made. Works great. I mean, you, you can see, this is a part of the garden that we just did a little bit ago. I just ran out of gas, had to go fill it back up, but really nice, fine. Works good. That's a rock, but yeah, super, super good. Guys, these lawnmowers are great. They're more than just a lawnmower. They're, they're the perfect little garden tractor. I've got a ripper that I use that if I hit really hard soil, that the tiller doesn't actually want to chew through or if i got a lot of rocks in it i use that uh, ripper to kind of tear the ground up first and then i'll come back over it with the tiller but guys i'm going to take y'all along with me show you all some of the tilling show you this thing in action and show you you don't need the x580 the 580 would be great and when i'm using my winter snow plow this year and i don't have that power steering i'm probably really going to miss that power steering but the deck lift i don't i think that's kind of that's that's just kind of chintzy and then if you're wanting the X5 set or 580 for just the hydraulic lift, the videos I've seen on it, it's kind of chintzy. I'm, I'm not real crazy about that. Uh, I like this design a lot better. You can lift a lot more. And there's actually, a sh the way this thing's set up, if you go to lift too much before you start bending stuff, there's actually a little shear bolt in here that'll snap. And you just pull this rod out, replace that shear bolt, and you're, you're back in business. Just a quarter inch regular quarter inch bolt works great have yet to shear it the tiller itself i'd say is probably between 150 and 200 pounds haven't weighed it since i finished it i weighed it about midway through and it was about 130 140 so i've added a lot to it since then but we're gonna get up here we got all of our potatoes i've gotten most of it done all the way down there all the way to that far end right there we've got some and we've still got a couple more rows up here and then once the pumpkins and stuff come up, we'll do it. But guys, I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. Let's get to it. First things first, the lawnmower is loud and so is that tiller, it's, it's pretty loud. So we're gonna go ahead, throw some mirror plugs in just so I don't have to listen to it. Got that foot clutch on there. Go ahead and raise it up. Clear whatever it was. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm showing you right now the machine. We just had a really bad break. And uh, pause the video right now. Take a chance. Look at it. Put your comment down below. What do you think broke? Go ahead. Okay. Is everybody back? Good. Now, I'm going to show you all the chain that comes from this uh, gear reduction down to the final drive gear up into your tensioner. It gave out on us, which means our tines are no longer turning. Now, you can see, we put a lot of extra stress on this just by having all this grass in there. And this used to spin really freely, and it's pretty tight. So I'm going with that's probably what, what did it. The extra stress on there finally broke it. But guys, we're going to fix it. I'll show you exactly what part of it broke. 
I kind of find it odd. I figured the master link would break. Woo, the chain's worn. I really thought the master link would have broke on us, but it wasn't. It's one of the regular links you can see right in there. The chain actually, or the that piece actually cracked. Never had a chain break like that. But this will be easy fix. We'll just put a master, take that link out, put a master link in its place, get it back up and running. I don't have any master links with me today, so the garden is not done. We got one, two, three rows left, but we got all these. I'll show them to you real quick. Got some nice, nice tilling going on. Just look at this, beautiful. Like I said, this is all potatoes. I believe it's russet potatoes and there's another one. I think it's a little red potatoes or is that russet potatoes? I don't know, put it down below. I'm just helping out with the farm. Oh, here's the road. I did, I forgot to do this one. Well, we'll have to do that one tomorrow. We'll come back up, do that one, finish everything up, get those tines cleaned up. All right, guys, since we got the X570, if y'all want to see me torture test this thing, go ahead, leave a comment below because I've got all this that needs cut. And I don't know, guys, let me see if you can see how tall this is. Can y'all see that? I'm filming everything on my phone today. In case things look a little weird but that's i don't know four foot four foot grass we'll run this thing through it see how it does right now it's a swamp so i know we're not going to be making it through it so we'll have to get it pulled out once we're done but we'll see if we can cut all the grass if y'all guys if we get enough interest in this i'll torture test this thing and we'll really put it through its paces and see just what the john deere x570 can do all right guys if y'all like these type of videos hit the like button for me subscribe to my channel if you're new and like always, guys, take someone outdoors.